Hello Capricorn. Uh, this is a love reading for 2020 December. Let's see what you learned this year and what is coming for you in 2021. For all of you who have reached out for a personal reading with me, I am so very grateful. Thank you so much for your love and your support. And also, uh, if you're not a subscriber, tap that subscribe button. If you like a personal face-to-face -face reading with me, my information is down below. So what did you learn? You learned self-healing. You learned to really, to what? To bring yourself to a place of hope. So this is the card of the star card, healing card, and two cards that are representing one of healing. So healing the heart, nurturing yourself, not um, looking to uh, put your energy out to others, but this really is listening to your North Star, listening to what dreams and aspirations and where do you need healing, you know, not losing hope. So as you did work, which a lot of people have this year, is really bringing you in that in, in that place of stillness, in that place of, as I'm saying, stillness with Just Breathe, into getting to know your spirit, your soul, your own wishes, your manifestation, divine timing, but you had to really go in and really to um, allow yourself to receive the love from the universe and from your own self. So what relationship were you manifesting? Look at that, manifesting but you're now working on manifesting a relationship and I feel like a relationship that was not um, here coming together because I have the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse. So this is now in prayer of what you want to come. So you, there's a need here of you not to lose faith and to really continue to take a time out and to go within. Yeah, there's still something not complete in your life that you're feeling left out. So somebody, either you left somebody here or somebody has left you. And this really is saying it's a time to not to lose hope, to continue to work on yourself right now and be careful of the thoughts you're having in regards to the relationship because something is not complete. And this is feeling abandoned, feeling left alone is the five of pentacles, feeling lack, feeling unworthy. And the world in reverse is talking about the completion or what is not completed. So there can be here an energy that is still keeping you stuck um, in this old world, in this old cycle when that card is appearing. So let's, I just want to pull, let's see on the world card. Um, what is this going to complete for 2021? Can we bring this to its completion this year? And yeah, here you go. Move. Yes. So by this, I would say, you know, things come into, there is, there will be movement coming out of that energy. There will be movement coming in for you, but this movement comes by what? By you having the strength and the courage to move. And then we have share the love. Um, this would be the Three of Cups. And yes, there is movement. I'm really seeing this. There's quite a bit of movement because the wheel this year is going to turn. You come out of judgment. Wow, all these major, major, major. And this really is, yes, there is a new beginning that is coming into your life. This is a place of your calling, your alignment, coming into purpose and unity. This is allowing the wheel to turn. You're letting go of something that was karmic, something that was that there was no movement in. That world is you're closing a door, closing out a cycle of your life, so you can have movement forward. Some of you could be physically moving, so some some of you are divorcing or leaving someone behind. There's physical move. If this is in regards to really, um, yeah, it's in reverse. So you had to learn self love here, self healing. And this card was about taking control back, having the courage and the strength of to know when to leave something, when to shut a door on something and really then come into union here with the share your love is with the love of other people and the support that you have. The manifest is right in the middle of that card. So if I was to really put these cards out, we have the sun, so a breakthrough after a time of going within. We have judgment, so this is really coming into soul purpose. It, the spirit world is looking after you, just breathe. We have yes from the time of contemplation and going within. 
the karmic wheel turns in your favor. Here we have movement, so whatever you're thinking is moving. So from the first six months, seven months, six months, one to seven here, really ask yourself what do you want to move in, bring in this year in 2021, the two of cups in reverse. You are moving away from that. You're moving into something better, something smoother from the world that is not closing. You have to have the courage and the strength to shut that door. The feeling alone, you're not alone. There are people that love you and that are here for you. Now root yourself here, okay? So let's pull my own deck that I've created, the Twin Flame Journey, and let's see the messages that have come out. Yep, break up, there's someone better for me. We saw that coming with the Ace of Cups in reverse and the Two of Cups in reverse. Unrequited love, we also saw that. Mixed red, red signals, I'm sorry, miss, mixed signals, red flags, one dis, one sided, and get out. And then let's pick two more. We have, look at this, the card of meditation. We saw that inner journey, intuition, awakening, and breath. And then the other, so here it is somebody who was just taking, it was all about them. Again, it made you really go within so you can make a move and really transform your life into a sacred divine synchronicity. Something better that is coming, divine timing, let go of control, have the strength to really come into um, union with yourself. And here there was somebody missing you, thinking of you. And then we have you can't buy my love. So you know, if this was based on um, not emotions and it was based on, you know, um, on thinking that, you know, buying, somebody can buy your love, that was not the case in yours. You have the key and the cracker. So this Christmas, this new year, there will be this awakening, this shift that comes in. Maybe somebody wants to bring you gifts from the past. I just kind of got that. He's missing you, wants to come back. And says positive energy surrounds you, love, joy, and good fortune away. But you're like, ah, you can't buy my love. And you hold the key whether you want to um, come back with something that was unrequited or, you know, or really trust the universe into something new because there's new beginnings, directions, and adventure await for those ready to let go of the past. With Doreen Virtue, let's see what is coming up. And we have separation. Again, time apart with your partner is on the horizon. And we'll put here, keep an open mind and romantic feelings. Your feelings are real, worth exploring, and keep an open mind. Your soulmate may differ from your usual type. And then here we have heart-to-heart -heart conversation again. Um, this card wanted to come for you to see that death, a time of natural transition and transformation. So it's really telling you, you know, it's time to really shift your energy and come into gratitude here. And you fully appreciate the invaluable lessons that Life Loving Rate presents to you and vision. No matter what you see, there's a bigger picture of a loving, just universe. So I hope that all this has resonated with you. If it has not, until next time, but this really is in regards to, you know, ask yourself, what do you think you deserve? Isn't it time for you to move towards what is healthy and right for you into a union that is harmonious with you, generous, loving, and giving? Or are you going to keep yourself stuck in a relationship that is no longer serving you? Unless you think it is. Sending you love and light. Until next time, namaste.